It's a little bit hard to make a video for increasing difficulty because you could implement this in so many different ways. In my example here, the enemies get faster over time, but you could also have more enemies appear over time. You could have enemies getting stronger over time, having more health, uh, having more shields. Perhaps the player gets tired and gets slower over time. But I'm going to show you this example and hopefully it will give you some idea of how to implement yours. Now, I have put all of the code for my monster in a separate monster file and I've made three functions, init monster, move monster and draw monster. None of these are going to run automatically. So in my main file, I need to remember to call them. And then when the computer gets to this point, it will simply go to this function and run all the code for me from top to bottom. So let's have a look at how I make this monster go faster over time when it respawns. So mo most of that is in the move monster uh, code along here. So basically uh, this first bit of code here, monster1.x plus equals monster1.direction times monster1.speed, all that does is moves the monster along. That doesn't make it go faster uh, over time. Uh, this second bit of code here, uh, if monster1.x is less than negative 200, then uh, set it back to 200 and make a random y position up or down. Again, that doesn't make it get harder over time. Um, here's the bit that uh, makes it get harder over time. If the monster1.x is less than negative 200, so it's flown off the edge of the screen here, I think the edge of the screen is minus 178 in a 16.9 um, aspect ratio. If the monster gets off the side of the screen here, then it not only gets reset, but the monster one uh, dot speed, um, sorry, monster one dot speed plus equals 0 0.5. So we're act actually adding a 0.5 of a pixel per frame um, onto the speed of it. Now this next bit of code here, if monster one dot speed is greater or equal to four, um, then monster one dot speed equals one. Um, this actually uh, makes the monster dot one speed go back down to one after getting faster, if that makes sense. So if the if the monster one dot speed is finally gets to four, then we're actually going to reset it down to one. So you get this like waves of increasing difficulty. Um, you don't have to do that. Uh, you could have this. Uh, for example, if you put this as four, then simply what that would do would stop it getting any faster than four. Um, so there are different ways that you can do that. In fact, I might leave it like that. So it gets faster and faster, but then it's limited at four. Um, the, you want to limit it, otherwise at some point it'll fly across the screen so fast that you won't actually even be able to see it, uh, which will be ridiculous. Anyway, I hope that helps you with yours and um, good luck.